Some they think we are here to play. But this is a serious business. This is a serious business. This is not a game. This is not a joke. Having the father sending his own son to come here, not to play, he came here and he died. So that he can facilitate the victory. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. There will come a day when you're supposed to deliver. Will you still have enough strength to deliver? But what the Lord is doing is to make sure that whoever is behind your loss of strength, God is creating a situation. If you are in God's hands, every arrow that the enemy is going to throw at you, it will not touch your flesh. We don't have to make this too long. But I'm just trying to help you understand what you thought was a demon because you are so unproductive. It is simply lack of strength. You have donated your strength. You have surrendered your energy. Now you can deliver. Why? Because you have listened to what the enemy has said and written. Weakened nations. You have to look around as a prophet. If you are a prophet, if you hear from God, look around. Let the Lord himself lift you up. Look down. Count the number of people that you see down there. Count the number of people Count the number of people. The devil doesn't want us here. The devil doesn't want to see people here on the earth. And that devil is in people. A few years from now, those that would have escaped the wrath and the agenda of the enemy will shake their heads and say, indeed, the devil is a deceiver. We have been fooled. How can a prophet, pastors, how can a prophet tell you that they wanted this thing to be well developed, mature, and then it goes out there? And then God, because of the prayers, let's pray against what is coming because of the prayers. It gets out of their hand. It goes out of control. Yes, and these people have the guts to 
pick up the fragments and package it and send it out as a solution. Let's manually do it. Because the first strategy failed. What is wrong with us? Loss of strength. Loss of strength. A day of trouble is coming. When you can't face even the weakest virus, the weakest disease, your body won't be able to withstand it. The loss of strength. A day of jubilation, a day of laughter will turn out to be a day of mourning. An Assyrian agenda. Send out a message. Write it down. But Hezekiah said, we have the Lord God on our side. We'll inquire from the prophet. And the prophet said, oh, this is what God is going to do. Do you know that when the letter was presented before God and the prophet declared that God is about to fight for you, that night the Bible says, and the angel of God went into the Assyrian camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thousands, hear this, thousands of people the following morning were all dead. That is what made the king of, of, of Assyria to go back mm. to his country. In the morning, how can you f discover thousands of cops? Yes. None of them were sick yesterday. Mm. An mm. angel moved around the camp. Mm. This is a wave that is coming because God is about to deliver and secure the lives of his people. But there are people at the top of this agenda. At the top of this agenda. So there is a dispatching of this very horrific angel into their camp. And their days are numbered. Their days are numbered. Their days are numbered. You can't have your children dying early and old men and old women who are busy plotting go on to live longer and longer and longer. The agenda of feeding on the human strength, the Lord is bringing it to an end. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And their own children will kill them. It is God's air that we are breathing. People must know that whether they love God or they don't love Him, this earth belongs to Him. This earth, oh. None of these billionaires created this. Whatever they're trying to buy, it's God's. We are about to watch God's intervention. Mm. They thought he was quiet. They underestimated. They think that he has run out of strategies. But 
soon people will begin to realize that, oh, somebody else owns this earth. So, my prayer for you is that you receive back your strength, your energy, so that you can deliver. You have a mission. God has an assignment for you. You are failing to push it out because something has tempered with your strength. But hear ye the voice of the Lord. You have enemies, I also have enemies. Personally, I have many enemies. And we wish them well, we have been praying for them, we have been blessing them. But if they become too many, the angel of the Lord will come in. You are a child of God. You have been called by God. But there are those also that believe that they are also children of God. Mm. Mm. And yet we differ when we look at their, our level of operation. We are different. There are people that God is about to protect now. He wants to defend his own. He wants to remind the kings that he is their king, the king of kings. Mm, mm, mm. You can never outsmart the king of kings. Mm. You can't. So I've prayed for you. And we'll keep on touching the altar. We'll keep on touching the altar. Thank you. Get into contact. I said it matters. The size of the altar.